What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Horror Edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is Horror Edition this time. Last time we had Friday the 13th edition, and a lot of you guys really liked it. You gave me a lot of positive feedback on it. If you missed the first one, definitely go back on the channel and find that other one because it was an awesome setup as well. But today, not only has Jason Voorhees invaded the arena, it... Pennywise the Clown has also invaded the arena, so we're going to show you guys around what we got right here. They are spread out from the stage all the way to the announced area. Um, I don't have all of my Friday the 13th figures. You know, Brad, my brother, did not bring the whole entire collection over this time, so we'll have to wait until next time. Maybe next time he'll, you know, bring the entire collection, but we're going to just use what we got here today and go through the entire setup. So we're going to start out on the stage right here, guys. We do have Jason with a machete in the side of his head right there. He's masked as well. I guess it sort of fell off during the fight right here because Seth freaking Rollins, you know, he uh, hit him in the face with a machete and Jason is still alive. You know, he's still coming after Seth. So Seth was like, screw this, bro. I'm getting the crap out of here. So you can see right here, Seth Rollins is yelling because he is running for his life. So Seth Rollins trying to get away there and run from Jason Voorhees. If we come down the ramp right here, you will see Jason and Hulkamania right here running wild. You got Hulk Hogan snatching away the pitchfork, you know what I'm saying? Jason trying to stab Hulk Hogan with that pitchfork, and, you know, Hulk Hogan's like, not so fast, brother. What you're gonna do, brother, when Hulkamania runs wild? So that's what he's doing right there. He snatched that pitchfork out of his hand. He's like, you know, you, you know, you can't kill Hulk Hogan, guys. You can't beat Hulk Hogan. There's just no way around it. So Hulk Hogan's snatching that pitchfork out of Jason's hand. I don't know what's gonna be next for Hulk Hogan. Maybe he can win that fight right there. If we come around the ring, you will see Jason, and he was about to kill Kevin Owens with that machete on the ground. So he's about to kill Kevin Kevin Owens, but then in comes El Generico, the hero, you know, coming to save Kevin Owens. So he came to save Kevin Owens. He hit him in the back with a chair, knocked that machete out of Jason's hand. So and this time, you know, not everybody's dying. We got some fighting back in this setup right here, guys. So Jason got attacked with a chair. I don't know how this one ends up. You know, KO and El Generico going head to head with Jason. Don't know how that one will end. If we go into the ring, we got some action going on in the ring. I guess we'll go back here first. Braun Strowman has loaded Jason up. You know, he's uh, got him over his shoulders right here. Probably about to put him through that table. You know, Braun Strowman is, you know, he's strong enough to take on one Jason. You know, he's got his mask off. I guess it fell off during the fight. We got a cut in his head. So he's going hard on Jason. About to put him through that table. Doubt he can fight back. Uh, you know, but uh, I guess if Hulk Hogan can fight back, I guess Braun Strowman's doing a good job right here. In the front, we do have... This is sort of like a theme. Every single Friday the 13th setup that we do, Brock Lesnar always gets killed. So right here, he is getting stabbed through the abdomen right there. You see the blood on the end of the machete. So you see Jason has stabbed him. And Brock Lesnar is, you know, he's feeling the pain right there. Here comes the pain. No, he's feeling the pain, Brad. Look at that. He is getting stabbed right there with his facial expression. So Jason did stab Brock Lesnar straight through the abdomen. And he is hunched over, taking that right there. In the corner, we have uh, the Part 2 Jason, pretty new figure right here. We didn't have this one in the last setup. He's got that pickaxe, and he is about to chop up the Miz. You know, and the Miz is in the corner just uh, waiting to die, I guess, because Jason's got that pickaxe, and he's about to bring it down onto the Miz in the corner. So I guess the Miz is SOL. But this is uh, Jason's first look in his own movie. He's got the bag on his head with the one eye cut out. Pickaxe looking good. That's a great figure, guys. Look at that detail on the flannel. NECA always knocking it out of the park with all of these figures. And then we have our new addition right here, guys. We have Pennywise the Clown and our Pennywise Finn Balor Demon right here staring down, you know, it right there trying to uh, capture the demon. You know, he's got the, he's reaching out the red balloon to him, seeing if he'll accept the red balloon. Maybe they'll join forces. I don't really know. I just thought it would be a cool shot with the It Finn Balor and the It Pennywise Clown NECA figure. And then Doink the Clown behind there, he just doesn't know what the crap's going on, guys. He's like, oh my Jesus, this is an evil clown. So Pennywise has got the red balloon and he's freaking out Doink the Clown. And then Finn Balor in his It inspired uh, demon paint right there. 
So I just thought that would be a cool little shot for you guys to see both of them together. I think that's so cool. Of course, the It Pennywise is the reason for the custom battle of the month that we did, I believe, September of last year. I can't remember exactly when we did that, but uh, that was the first of the many fantasy Finn Balors that we did, and it is all thanks to Pennywise why we did that. So there is the inspiration. But that pretty much does it for this setup, guys. Uh, this Jason and KO and it's El Generico setup sort of fell right here as I was trying to film that, but... Uh, Besides that, I want to know what down below what you guys think of the setup. I enjoyed it. I love the horror ones. You guys seem to like them as well. So definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the new setup. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.